What's up you guys, hope you're all having, <coughs> jeez, three times. What's up you guys, I hope you're all having a great day. So um, I'm redoing this intro, so the rest of the video, I'm gonna be in different clothes and everything. Uh, so I filmed all that like at the beginning of this week, um, but I decided to split up the video into two parts. So originally it was, uh, I'm doing like a three month review, obviously, um, but, like the money section and then like just general like what it's like uh being a truck driver over the road um flatbedding at mountain um it was all gonna be one video but it was way too long and i and most people probably wouldn't watch the whole thing and i feel like there's a lot of good information throughout the entire thing so i want people to watch um all of it so i decided to split it into two sections uh so this section i'm just gonna be talking uh really just about the money in the first three months and then also just a quick channel update. So I haven't uploaded in about three weeks because I took some time off, uh, a little vacation with my family. Um, and then this this is my first week back. So I, I have been filming and working on videos, but I'm trying to get ahead on videos. So next time that I take uh, home time, I can keep the content, content train chugging along. But, um, yeah so i have this video coming out and then i have a normal like trucking uh video and then uh the what it's like you know being a truck driver three months my thoughts uh that video will also be coming out sometime in the near future and then the last thing before we actually get into today's topic um i do have a referral link in the description uh to join melton so if uh, these videos help you in any way or influence your decision to join um, and I'm not telling anybody that they should. If you think that Melton is a good fit for you, um, if flatbed is something that you want to do, um, feel free to use that link. It's of course no cost to you, um, but it does help me out. I would get a referral bonus. These videos do take a lot of time and, and energy to make. Um, I would still be doing it either way. Like I'm not making videos to try to make money off of them, uh, really just for fun and to try to like help people out. So um, yeah, if you do, uh, want to help me help you out keep making these videos um, like I said feel free to use that link it's no cost but uh, with none further ado let's get straight into the video so I'm gonna be going over like I said my first three months uh, which was starting in uh, May so the beginning of May to the end of July um, just a couple of things to note about this period of time there was one week of home time where I wasn't driving and there was about a week where my truck was being worked on where I wasn't able to drive, um, but you know, things like that happen. So I'm just gonna include that in this period. Uh, the break breakdowns are inevitable. Even in this brand new truck, this is a 2022, I think, Freightliner. Uh, there, I had like a leak in my DEF system. There was like a hose just spraying DEF like crazy. But yeah, so things like that happened. There was a couple weeks where I wasn't able to drive and that does affect your pay. You know, those are things that are gonna happen if you are driving a truck, these are machines that, uh, you know, fail from time to time. So with that being said, there was a little bit of a uh, lost opportunity to make more money, but that was more than made up for with the sign on bonus that I got. It was paid out $1,000 every month. Um, so May, $1,000, June, $1,000, and then July, for whatever reason, I got two payments of it, one at the beginning, one at the end. So that was 2000 extra dollars in July uh, that I got from sign on bonus money. Um, and so far all this month of August, I have not received any of the sign on bonus. So I think it was $4,000, but I'm just going to include all that in the first three months in the numbers because I don't know, it is, it is taxed. So I don't know exactly how much that actually came out to because I don't know how much it was taxed, but it was taxed. And yeah, I don't want to try to do all the math to figure out how much it was net and then take that out of what I made in the first three months. Too much, too much work. So I'm just including it. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind that we'll fluff the numbers a tiny bit, but not a whole lot. And I do think that as the year goes on, I will be able to maintain roughly the same income uh, per month just because as you get better at the job, you know, you can secure faster, unsecure faster, you get better at managing your clock, uh, things like that. Like I have improved vastly so, so much in just these first three months. Uh, that definitely makes a big difference in your pay. 
But anyway, so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to show you guys my very first check from my first week of driving. Then I'm going to show you my last check in this three month period. And then I'm going to show you the check um, that has the amount of money that I made from training and orientation. We're gonna take that number, training and orientation money, subtract that from total amount of money that I have made in the first three months. That'll give us how much I made just by driving alone. And then we'll use that number to uh, you know, project how much I could expect to make in a year, uh, how much I made on average per month, et cetera. Um, so that's just how I'm gonna break it down just to get a quick like snapshot overview of what I made in the first three months. So we'll get into that right now. So I'm just gonna quickly go over um, these highlighted sections in each of these checks. So for this first one, as you can see, highlighted in yellow at the bottom, for this, this is my very first week out driving by myself. I made two thousand and eighteen dollars, over two grand, my very first week. Um, highlighted in orange, you can see my miles. I had twenty seven hundred miles, just over. Um, there was a sign on bonus, of course, highlighted in green at the top. Uh, now, without the sign on bonus, uh, this still would have been a, like a normal check. I would say it'd be about twelve to thirteen hundred dollars. That's that's pretty average for what I get most of the time but um yeah so this still would have been a good check a good check without the sign on bonus uh so moving on to the next one which is my last week in this period uh i made 1790 dollars on that check highlighted in yellow 2222 miles highlighted in orange there was a sign on bonus of course included in that one as well um but the important number here is highlighted in blue uh that's the total amount of money that I have made at Melton. Uh, that's $20,551 and 53 cents. Um, that's including all the three months of driving and then plus the month before that of training and orientation, which we're getting into now. So that check, uh, well, the important number once again is highlighted in blue. Um, that's how much I made total that month with, which was just training and orientation, $2,523 and 35 cents. And I wanted to throw this in really quick also, um, just so you guys get a really full picture of uh, what the money has been like the first three months. And more importantly, what I've been able to save because getting ahead financially, it's not always about how much money you can make, it's really about how much you can save. And, uh, you know, being an over the road truck driver, uh, that lifestyle really lends itself to living frugally because it's so easy to live frugally out here on the truck. But um, yeah, so, I'm just going to show you guys how much I made each of these months and then also, like I said, how much I saved. So first month, I made 25 24 That was training and orientation. These are the checks for the week. Uh, and this is how much I was able to save. It gets better from here. Don't worry. So in May, I made $5,002. Uh, these were the checks for each of the weeks in that month. And this is how much I was able to save. Now, I actually would have been able to save more, but uh, the GoPro that I bought, my very first one, it ended, up, it ended up breaking. And that month I had to buy, well, I didn't have to, but I ended up buying a new camera and some equipment. It came, it was like six or $700 or something total. So I could have saved an extra $600 that month, but yeah, moving on. So moving on into June, uh, things are picking up a little bit. I'm getting a little, a little better, a little faster at everything. Uh, I can make a little bit more money. Um, and I don't have any major camera expenses this month, so that really helps us out on the savings. Uh, but 5978 this is how much I made each of the weeks, and I was able to save $3,687 that month. And now July comes along, and boy did I love July. As you can see, we pulled in $7,149. Um, like I think I said earlier, uh, there were two sign-on bonuses in this month, so that definitely helped us out. Uh, quite a bit here but this is uh these were the checks for each of the weeks and i was able to save six thousand one hundred and thirty eight dollars that month which was great now if you're wondering uh what i'm using to like get these numbers it's an app uh called mint uh i think there's a website too mint.com it's free um i've used it for a while it's it's great uh it really it just lets you track all of your money and for, and allows you to know exactly what you're spending all of it on and everything. Um, it's really, really helpful, great tool for saving, for getting your finances on track. Um, 
And yeah, you might be looking at August and wondering why that month is so tiny. Um, that's because I took home time, like I said, and I also spent a, a good chunk of change while I was out on vacation. So yeah, that's why the cash flow is so small in August and September also small because it's literally like the first week of September. So yeah, that's why August and September look so small on the graph, but moving on. So now just to summarize, um, the money that I've made, I'll put it up right here on the screen. So in total, my lifetime at Melton, I have made, and I'm reading from my notes here, um, $20,551.53. So subtracting the money that I made from training and orientation, which was $2,500 roughly, uh, that leaves us with $18,028.18. Um, so I have averaged over the past three months, $6,009. Um, and another interesting uh, metric that I just thought was sort of interesting is, uh, so my total miles that I've had uh, at Melton is 30,135. If you uh, take the amount of money that I made from driving, 18,028, that divided by my miles, uh, my like effective cents per mile would be 59.8 cents per mile. So practically 60 cents per mile is like what I've been getting effectively uh, since I started driving, you know, um, like with flatbed, there's a lot of um, extra extra pay that you get, such as like tarp pay, uh, multi-stop pay. I'm sure you probably get multi-stop pay if you do things other than flatbed. But, uh, you know, there, there's things like that that you get paid extra money for. And like at Melton, it's a hundred dollars uh, for a tarp load, a hundred extra dollars. and a lot of the loads are tarped. I'd say probably like 60% of the loads are tarped, maybe more, maybe more than that, honestly. Uh, so, you know, that's a lot of extra money that you're getting that's not just from your cents per mile. So, um, yeah, I just thought that, that was sort of interesting. If you look at the miles and the amount of money I made, if I was just paid in cents per mile, I'd be getting about 60 cents per mile. Um, so that's kind of cool. So if I were to stay on that pace uh, for the entire year, uh, I'd be projected to make $72,112 from driving. And then if you add back the $2,523 from tra uh, training and orientation, that would give us $74,635. That's how much I could be, I could project to make in this first year if my pay stays at what it's at right now. Um, what do I think will happen with my pay? Will it go up or down? It'll probably, in the next few months, it'll probably stay about the same, maybe dip a little bit, just because uh, I won't be getting the sign-on bonus, of course. Uh, but as the year goes on, I do expect it to kind of creep back up because uh, you do get one or two raises in your first year uh, C, uh, on your CPM, cents per mile. Um, and then also another thing is that if you stay out for three consecutive weeks, uh, you get 200 extra dollars. Uh, it's the Road Warrior program. Uh, that's what they call it at Melton. Uh, it's either 200 extra dollars or you can get an extra day of home time. It's up to you. You can pick uh, either one. So in this last uh, period that I was out, uh, three months, well, I was actually out a little bit longer than that. It was like three and a half months, 15 weeks. Okay. So uh the road warrior bonus for all that 15 weeks was an extra thousand dollars so i'm gonna get that on my next check actually so if you stay out for longer periods of time you're going to get paid more uh in those bonuses and that bonus i'm not including in these three months uh just because i already have the sign on bonus money included in there uh, so i figure if i leave out the road warrior bonus it kind of evens out to more like normal number so there are extra bonuses and little things that uh, you can take advantage of um, as the year goes on. So I do think that I'll be able to stay on this pace and you know, that's that's good. That's good enough for me. I mean, that's that's good money. Your very first year to make over $70,000. You know, there's not many jobs that you can do that in. You know, it cost me $4,000 to get my CDL and about a month and a half of my time and I can make over 70 grand my first year, you know, if I wanted to get a job where I made that much money in my first year, you know, I'd have to go to school for, you know, four or five years probably. Um, 
And then, of course, there's other things that come along with trucking that if you're somebody who likes saving money, you can live so incredibly cheap um, on the truck because you don't have to pay for a lot of things. You don't have to pay to commute to work and back. You don't have to pay for rent. Uh, you don't have to pay uh, for a car if, you know, you're in a position where you can uh, not have a car, not rent somewhere if you don't have other people depending on you uh, to pay for those things. If it's just you, if you're the only one affected, you know, by those decisions, you can uh, design your financial life in a way that you can save so much money. Just, I mean, if you make $70,000 a year and if you're able to save like 60, 70, 80% of your income, I mean, that's that's life-changing money, you know, especially if you can do it while you're yawning, well, <coughs> excuse me, while you're young, uh, that opens up so many, so many opportunities, you know, you can buy your own truck, you can, you know, start investing in other things, other businesses, real estate, put your money in the stock market, uh, you know, the, the possibilities are endless if you uh, take advantage of the opportunities that trucking gives you, such as, you know, being able to live so cheaply and make such a good living, you know, uh, it's it's really a powerful thing, you know, if you if you do it right.